I have got a very sharp chisel, which is just how things should be. <laughs> Welcome to Workshop Essentials. This is my grinder, and it's a very nice machine. I bought it about 30 years ago. It's got a June 92 plate on it, and it's never let me down. I've changed the wheel once, and it just keeps going forever. And almost quite literally, when you turn the power off, it continues to run for 67 seconds, which would be illegal now. Um, but this predates the uh, legislation which says machines should stop within 10 seconds. It just shows you how good the bearings are though. But even a good machine like this has its limitations. And in particular, it has the same weaknesses as even a, a cheap one from a supermarket. And that is the tool rests that come with it. They're very small. I mean, this one's no bigger than a postage dump. And that's all right for engineers. If you're only uh, sharpening up, say, a twist drill, then these are quite suitable. But for us woodworkers, when we've got a big plain iron like this or a skew chisel like this, then these little tiny uh, tool rests don't give very much support. So we can do better. In a very, very old issue of Woodworker magazine, and I think the, the magazine long predated the purchase of this, there was a, an article about making a grinding rig. And I built, I, I made that up. And in fact, this is the original one I made 30 odd years ago. As you can see, it's absolutely filthy, and it's also worn out. Um, but it worked very well when it was new, and it can work even better. Uh, so my replacement I've made longer, um, I'll show you why that's important in a moment. The this, this system works by uh, using a series of saddles for doing different jobs. So this one, for example, uh, I only made this the other day and already it looks 10 years old. They do get very, very scruffy very quickly. Um, but this runs along the front of the machine on the rail like that. And there is a little uh, lip for guidance. And this presents my chisel to the stone at 25 degrees every single time. It's very consistent. And so this is ideal for chisels uh, and for bench irons, anything that you want to grind at 25 degrees. Just put them on there, up to the stone, and then I can move backwards and forwards uh, and get a very consistent grind. The rail itself is level with the center lines of the wheels. And so if I want to just clean up at the end of a piece of metal, for example, I can put that on there and I know that the wheel is coming down vertically at that point and I get a square end. Different saddles for different jobs. This one is for a skew chisel and it's got a, a triangular fence on there. So I can either use it hard up against the fence and get a 30 degree skew straight or I can move away from that fence onto this part of the saddle and I've got some degree of movement if I want to put a curved grind on my skew chisel, like that. So how do we build one of these uh, setups? It's very simple, there's a base board and I've made it bigger so that it's easy to clamp down because without clamping down it does tend to dance around the uh, bench top a little bit. Um, it also means that I can have a longer rail here. You can see I've made this one considerably longer than the original. And that gives me support till I'm well clear of the grinding wheel when I'm moving things about. It's, uh, I've, I've arranged it so that the bracket feet, they go away from me and there's nothing, on the front, there's nothing sticking out towards me at the, at the front to get in the way of me working. There's simply a couple of notches cut on the underside of the uh, support rail. That's what I want. Looks like I've just got to take a little bit off the bracket. Very nice, good. This jig is one of my favorites. I don't get to use it very often. It only does one job, it's a horizontal borer, but it does it supremely well. And 
one side blade all screwed together, I measured my height and I had to trim them just a little bit off to get it to the same height as the center of my wheels. So how do we go about making one of these saddles? I'm going to make a saddle which will give me a 45 degree, degree grind which is going to be useful for chamfering the ends of steel rod and things like that. Uh, and so I need a 45 degree sample to work to. So this has just been trimmed off at 45 degrees. I've got a base layer and I'm making this a bit longer than my other one. I want to be able to clamp this down as an option. So it can either slide or it can be clamped fixed firmly so it doesn't move. There's another piece of wood that's going to be glued to the top of that and then which is going to be angled to give me the uh, to give me the grind that I want and so that goes onto my rail like that and I lock the wheels in place so that they don't move so I've got a couple of slivers of wood there let's just jam it there we go this the wheel doesn't move now and I take my 45 degree sample and I mark when that heel is tangential to the stone, which is about there. I mark on the stone the position of the heel of my sample, like that. And then my next layer is put in, put in place and I mark on that the same position, the same point, and also the curve of the stone, like that. And then I need to join that point there, which is the point on the stone, to this corner here, and then cut it off at that angle. And for that, I need to go next door to the bandsaw. See you there. That is rubbish, Steve. That's better. That's actually very close. Good. Pleased with that. Now, I'm not suggesting that this is the be-all and end-all of grinding stations. It's good, it suits the way I work, but I do hang on to these because just occasionally I need to use them. Sometimes the saddles are just too big and they get in the way if I'm grinding something which is small, in which case I simply have to put these back on. I will make um, plans for this available on my website if you're interested and um, if you're the one person <laughs> who subscribed to my channel just so that you can dislike every film I make, <laughs> I think you're very sad. Please write to me and tell me why you do it. <laughs> I've got lots of friends in the medical industry. I can put you in touch with someone who might be able to help you with your little problem. To everybody else, thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll make this up. It's, it doesn't take long to do and it gives excellent results, consistency every single time. So don't forget, like, subscribe, share, all that stuff, and I'll see you next time. Au revoir. If you have any suggestions for making this even better, leave me a comment below. I do read them all.